Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is another video on the Amiga Mini. This is a kind of follow-up to the last video I did. It's just 25 more games that I'm gonna add via WHD load. I got a lot of comments on my last video and it basically said, or I discovered, that there are a lot of games out there that people would add. I kind of wished I'd done 50 games I was gonna add, to be honest, because some people come up with some cracking ideas. And yeah, even I said in the last video, you know, I can't add every game I want to add in only 25 you know there's always going to be a lot more than that and so obviously some games didn't make the cut so obviously they will probably be in this one as you can see and even with this list of 25 there's still more games that I wanted to put on that didn't quite make the cut I think it's always going to be the way I did say in the last video that I will most likely be adding every single Amiga game I can get my hands on or I've already got my hands on yeah I had a lot of comments saying you know which games people would add and a lot of people did agree with with ones I put on I, I think I put on a lot of classics so obviously most people are going to agree with that I suppose but also there were a lot of good suggestions that the games also that I hadn't played which is why they're not on the list I mean a lot of people have been mentioning Moonstone and since you guys had mentioned it I've been doing a bit of research on it and it does look like a very good game I haven't gotten around to playing it yet but you know it would have probably made my list if I played it but I haven't played it so I can't exactly recommend it can I if I haven't played it but it, a lot of you guys seem to be recommending it so maybe I do need to play this for my own sake before I start adding games because it looks like it's going to be one to add for sure okay so anyway without further ado no more waffle oh here's a, just a quick reminder we'll show you on the screen and I'm just going to flash up the picture I put up last time of the 25 games that are already included in the, the system I'm not going to talk too much about them. We talked about them in the last video and uh, I'll leave a link at the top for anybody that has not seen the last video yet. You can go and check that out on there. And here's the 25 games that I suggested I would add in the last video. Again, I'm not going to talk about those either. They're on the other video if you want to check that out. You know, feel free, follow the link. If it's not here, it'll be at the end of the video anyway. So just go find that one. If you want to see, you know, my explanations on why those games got picked. Okay, without further ado, no more waffle. Let's crack on with the next 25 games I'm definitely adding to the Amiga Mini. Okay, game number one, Defender of the Crown, another CinemaWare game, and a lot of people were staggered that this didn't make my first 25. I'll be brutally honest, I haven't played a lot of it, but I have played it, so I can recommend it, and what I played I love. Um, it's just that I haven't probably played that as much as like Rocket Ranger made the list last time it came from the desert. I'd played those ones more, um, and they meant more to me than this one does you know for memory's sake and stuff but cracking game anyone who's played it will recommend this one highly and uh yeah definitely makes the next 25 okay next one up cannon fodder 2 well cannon fodder made the first list um i think cannon fodder 2 has to be on there too i was gonna do no sequels but there's a few sequels that demand being on here so cannon fodder 2 you know if you've never played it where have you been hiding basically <laughs> cannon fodder cannon fodder 2 awesome games and uh, I would recommend they should be on anybody's additional lists and I'm still very surprised they didn't make the original cuts but you know we talked about it on the last video and a lot of people have commented too licensing on sensible software games has proved to be a bit difficult I believe so that's probably the reason why they didn't make the cut okay next up PGA Tour Golf now this game obviously is available on multiple systems um, I think I played it first on the Amiga actually I believe but it is also available obviously on the Mega Drive and uh, I believe Nintendo most probably. It's out there in lots of forms. I played it probably primarily after it came out on the Mega Drive. I bought it on there and probably played it most on the Mega Drive. But yeah, still one of the best golf games available on the Commodore Amiga and uh, deserves its place. Okay, next up is a personal choice really, I suppose. But it did get good reviews back in the day. Fiendish Freddy's Big Top of Fun. It's a fun game. It is a fun game. It's... A very wacky game you've got to go and try and save a, a circus and you've got this clown that's trying to sabotage you every every act you do so it's a lot of fun when played with a lot of people maybe not so much fun to play by yourself but uh, i think from personal personal lists this makes mine uh, people may disagree they may think there's a lot better games out there and fair enough you know it, lists are subjective but this is fun next up a game that play, came with my original uh, Amiga 500 pack the New Zealand story this is very close to making the top the 25 last time classic arcade platformer very difficult I've, I've never finished it so I'm hoping to do it on the mini because obviously there's a lot of save states and stuff and hopefully I can get close to finishing it but very colorful good music fun action platformer 
go check it out if you haven't next up indianapolis 500 the simulation this it was a toss up between this and grand prix simulator i was close to putting that one on instead but i loved indy 500 when it came out and i think at the time they released it the indy 500 had become very popular in this country nigel mansell was driving out in it and it was like it was the right time to bring out a game for it and it was yeah it was a lot of fun um, so definitely if you've never played this game definitely check that one out okay next on the list international karate plus or ik plus uh, what do we need to say about this game you know it's uh, it's a classic it's been available on multiple systems and uh, yeah probably in my view the my favorite version of this game and uh, i'm not massive on beat em ups but this this is fun Plus, also, I've been watching a lot of Cobra Kai lately. <laughs> you know, any excuse to put a karate game on, quite honestly. But it's a classic, and it's well worthy of its place. Next, we have Operation Stealth. Uh, you may notice a theme in the last 25, and this one, I do seem to like Delphine games, and you'll be laughing because the next one up after this is also a Delphine game. Uh, but Delphine brought out some brilliant adventure games back in the day, and Operation Stealth combines that with a James Bond theme and I'm massive on James Bond so you know it's it's fun it's very difficult I've never completed it it's got a few issues as well but it doesn't detract from the game itself and I definitely think if you haven't played it before check it out particularly in this day and age now there's guides out there because I used to always get stuck on this game when I was a kid but um, obviously there was no such thing as like internet guides and stuff back then but now there are could probably be a bright blast to play through this game in its entirety and i'm really looking forward to doing that and the same goes for this game as well i never finished this one either but it was a lot of fun and the graphics were mind-blowing back in the day cruise for a corpse also by delphine kind of like an agatha christie style game you sort of solving you're solving a murder on a boat hence cruise for a corpse yet yeah, never got through it completely but um had a lot of fun playing it and uh and looking forward to catching up with this game on the mini while we're in the zone for point and clicks, we have Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Indiana Jones and the uh, Last Crusade made the last 25, um, and this one rightly makes this one, this list. I don't know if you'll be able to put the talky version of this on here. I'm hoping we can because it's good with the speech. But obviously if you're putting the disc-based version, I believe it doesn't have speech. From my knowledge, from my memory rather of uh, playing it in the past, but it's still fun. Um, it's probably a better game with the speech elements if we can get it on there um i, I don't know if the 12 a 1200 version had speech or maybe it was a cd32 version that had speech i'm pretty sure one version did on the amiga i'm sure anyone who knows will probably put that in the comments if they do but um it may have only been the pc version i'm remembering who knows i don't know memory's not what it used to be i'm <laughs> coming up to the age of 50 now so you know you know, I'm slowing down a little bit, unfortunately, but yeah, it's still a great game and a very worthy entry on the top 12 or the top 50 list, shall we say, on this console. Next up, we have to have a football management game, Premier Manager 2. Uh, Championship Manager 94 made the last 25, and that's, in my opinion, my favourite management game on the system. This was a toss-up. There was a few contenders. There was On the Ball World Cup Edition is uh, a good game, and also you've got um, The Manager, which was a game that... I used to love back in the day but it always used to crash i could never get it to work properly but premier manager 2 was a good alternative and uh, it's, a, it's probably the best there's three premier manager m managers that released i believe but this is probably the best of the lot so again in my opinion you know people might have other ideas but i like this game a lot number 12 on this list is monkey island 2 luchuk's revenge of course if you're going to allow sequels and monkey island made the first list you've got to have monkey island 2 because it's probably up there in the top five games on the Amiga of all time for most people certainly makes I wouldn't imagine both Monkey Island games make the top 10 yeah so who needs to talk about this one really you know we all know the the brilliance of these games and quite rightly on the list next up we have Populous 2 Trials of the Olympian Gods by Bullfrog um, great game it's a god game basically you who doesn't like playing god um, most people do and yeah it's it's a lot of fun a lot of people unfairly described as just a land flattening game but you know you you do that you build your cities up and you have to challenge other gods there were a number of uh, extra data discs that were or i think it was two potentially maybe one or two that improved the game as well and added new features and stuff but yeah cracking game definitely deserves a place on this list okay next up on the list we have pirates a game again i haven't played a lot of but i played enough to know that it is a classic and it does warrant a place on the list and definitely will be a game that I will want to check out more because 
There are so many versions of this game. I mean, I've got it on, I think I've got it on a PSP and it's come out on multiple consoles and I've just never, never really played it enough. But I've played it enough to know that it's good. <laughs> so, and that doesn't make a lot of sense because it's a, it's a very in-depth game, obviously, and I haven't played it enough to get anywhere near the end of the game. But what I played back in the day at my friend's house, uh, it was a lot of fun and definitely worthy of a place on the list. Next up, we have another point-and-click adventure. It's Zack McCracken and the Alien Mindbenders. Again, this one was very close to being on the first 25, but I'd had quite a few point-and-clickers at that point, so I decided not to put it on there. But from the same team that make Maniac Mansion, they had a tentacle, all that sort of stuff. And yeah, it's very, very fun. Another game I don't believe I ever finished. I know I got very close. The only thing with some of these games is the copy protect, and I think this is another one that's got a juicy copy protect on it, but um, I'm sure that won't be a problem with the WHD load stuff, but um, I'm not going to guarantee that. But uh, if we can get around the copy protect, then it is great. It is a great game. Next up, Megalomania. That's by a Sensible Software as well, who make obviously Cannon Fodder and Sensible Soccer. And so it comes from a good stable, and it is a very good game. A lot of fun, and uh, yeah, a classic. I'm not going to talk too much about that one. I'm sure lots of people know what it's about. Kind of an early version of like a Sim City, I guess. I don't know. Not quite in the same vein, you know, but it's, it's that kind of thing. It's kind of like a civilization, you know, that's that type of game. A lot of fun. Next up, Rainbow Islands. Done a video already on the channel about Rainbow Islands. I've played it on multiple systems. Um, I think the Amiga version on that came out as the best. Um, not 100% sure, I can't 100% remember that, but I'm pretty sure it was up there. And uh, yeah, it's a very good game, very fun game. Platform-ish, you know, firing rainbows at monsters and stuff. A lot of fun, and uh, I'm sure everybody knows about Rainbow Island, so I don't need to go on about that too much. Next up, we have James Pond 2, codename Robocod. Uh, in the first take of this, I said codename Robocop. I had to redo it. <laughs> I'm even telling you now when I make a mistake, but you know. Uh, when, you, when you're when you reading it, and it just looks like Robocop, but yeah, nothing to do with Robocop though. This is a fun game, and uh, yeah, this sequel to James Pond, obviously, as it's James Pond 2, um, but the superior game as far as I'm concerned in that, that sequence of games. Next, Turrican 2, the final fight. I was torn between Turrican 1 or 2, but I think 2 edges it because it has, uh, it's almost the same game in a sense. I mean, they don't change the formula when it comes to Turrican games, but um, you know, some of the stuff you can do in this one is slightly tighter, I think, in my opinion. So, Turrican 2 makes the list. Next up, we have a platform game, Gods, by the Bitmap Brothers, I believe. Um, yeah, this was a fun game. And uh, I'm quite surprised. I think there was a lot of thought that this would actually make the original 25 that that they're putting on the mini. I think a lot of people wanted to see it on there, but it didn't. Uh, and it didn't quite make my last list, although it was very close. It was one of the ones that got bumped at the end. But, uh, yeah, a good game well worth checking out it's been re-released i think quite recently on um, platforms so you may have seen it in a newer form but i would advise you go back and check out the original because it's way better okay next up we have saber team which is like a uh, very much like an xcom game which xcom made my last 25 um if you're familiar with playing the xcom games uh yeah it's good it's good fun you're playing it like an sas team but it's the turn-based uh, real-time strategy game it's good very good. Next up, Pro Tennis Tour 2. Uh, this is really good fun, actually. Uh, so it's the best tennis game I've played on on like the Amiga. And also you can edit tournaments and stuff. So that gives it a new level if you want to play a career mode. Um, you know, you can play through multiple tournaments. And it's great. It's Yeah, it's, it's a good tennis game as well. So definitely worth checking out. Next up, Theme Park, which I think we've all probably played on some machine or another. Like an early Roller Coaster Tycoon style game. Um, yeah what can i say about this game it's just a lot of fun and uh, i had it on a pc could never get it to run properly on the pc but <laughs> it wasn't for the lack of trying but yeah I, i'm assuming obviously it'll run fine i don't think i've ever played it on the amiga but you know it's a it's that good a game that it had to come on this list okay next is dune 2 the battle for Arrakis. um i hadn't played this until recently actually it makes a lot of the the top 10s top 20s on the amiga and, and i'd never played it I'd never been into into Dune as a story um, before uh, the new film came out. I watched that and it was brilliant and I just really enjoyed it and I thought I would check out some of the stuff, like some of the games from back in the day and played this and boy is it good. Um, 
another real-time strategy game and uh, yeah a lot of fun I'm sure a lot of you have probably played it already and I've probably played it back in the day me I didn't because I wasn't into it but yeah I'm into it now and it definitely it very nearly got on the last 25 but it definitely makes this one and finally we have one more point-and-click adventure beneath a steel sky this game I remember back in the day had about 17 18 discs it was crazy um, yeah the graphics were really good for the time and uh, the story was excellent as well like a sci-fi style story definitely definitely check this one out and it, again it's another game that's getting a remaster I believe it's coming out fairly soon I don't think it's out yet maybe it is out I'm not sure actually I know it's I know it's due if it's not out yet but um, yeah I would say I would advise you to check out the originals because you know it's always worth seeing where things come from even if the new version does turn out to be good and I don't know anything about it whether it's supposed to be or not but check out the original well worth it okay guys so here is just a summary of the 25 extra games that I'm going to be adding by WHD load the first 25 more on the last video obviously this is the second 25 like I said I'll probably be adding most of the games I own uh, over time but you know I'll be I'll be uh, giving like these 50 that I've listed in the last two videos definitely the preferential treatment they will be the first ones that will go on there and then we'll start adding bits and pieces later down the track most probably but there we go once again as ever don't forget to like share and subscribe this video if you would that would be great and uh, don't forget to get a discussion going in the comments you know just let me know what you would add um, obviously you've, you've done that for the first 25 maybe have a think about what your first 25 is and then tell me what you'd add for you know the second 25 or just tell me in general what you want on there you know what you think shouldn't have been included in the originals whatever you want to talk about you know i'm open for discussion it's not you know i say nothing's off limits try and keep it within the context of the video obviously but you know what i'm saying it's like you know uh i, I love a good natter on youtube on the comments and that i've replied to every single comment so i will continue to do that and uh, i thank you so much for watching the last video was an unprecedented success for my channel and uh i thank you all for that it's been uh, it's been great which is the reason why i felt like i should make this next video because there's a lot of interest out there and and you know i will always make videos if people are interested in watching them most of the time i make videos that people aren't interested in watching so it's nice to have one that's that people are interested in it's great okay guys thanks so, so much for watching please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, i will be making more amiga mini videos in the future if you've got any suggestions for videos you want to see made then obviously leave them in the comments or on my social media channels the addresses of which are circling on the screen as we speak and uh, stay tuned to the channel because there'll be more videos on the way uh, in the lead up to march 25th when the amiga mini actually releases okay guys thank you so much take care I'll see you on the next video bye for now